This is Real Comic Book Talk with you guys back at you again. Today we are going to do a comic review on Astro Punk. We met these two gentlemen who are writers at the NovaCon convention. We did an interview with them too previously, so it's in our previous videos. Check below and everything. It's it'll be in the it. description. And the link will be in the description. The link will be in the description also, so to get you there just like that, so you guys don't have to search, okay? Before we get to that, with me as always, my boy Al, TT, and what up? I gotta finish, man. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Let's get into this review. <laughs> now, the writers' names are Ken Sinners and Rob Farrenholt. They're independent writers and everything. Like most independent writers, they decided, you know what? Regular comic books didn't have what they wanted. So they went out there and made their own comic book. We're gonna review it for you guys. So, let's start off with you on the end, and what right, you so, think? So, like you said, most independent writers didn't, don't like what they see. I'm gonna say like most independent writers, they drop fire, yeah. okay? They drop fire. This is a really good book. It's only, it's, right now it's only one issue, because I think they're doing the Kickstart for yeah. the second one. Yeah. But this one issue, I'm telling you, I can't wait to find out whatever con they're going to be at next. I'm buying the second book. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's, it wasn't like, like most time I go to a con, they have the whole thing ready. So they have like a book that's like $10, $15 or whatever. This was only five. It was the best, one of the, some of the best $5 I spent. It's the best $5 I spent since I bought five Arizonas when one day had change left over. Like watermelon, mango, sweet tea. So you just got all different varieties. I didn't feel like making Kool-Aid. And it's from the guy who drinks like gallons of water. Then. I know. So you can drink five Arizona. It was a good five Arizonas. <laughs> it was a solid five Arizonas. Okay. I drank a lot of water that day too to flush it out. Um, <laughs> anyway, going back to this book. It's fire, man. The character is Detective Dick. And you know what you guys want? A little bit of Batman and Jessica Jones rolled into one. Yeah. 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 It seems like she's go. grizzled. Yeah, she's been doing it for a long time. You know? assholes. Yeah, yeah. But, but real good at a job, but detective mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you like, call it, detective -ing? Detective -ing. De Detective work. It is what we're saying on Real Comic Book Talk right now. <laughs> you heard it first here, okay, people? <laughs> That's for dang yeah, sure. They said they wanted to uh, make a uh, character because they both had daughters. Mm -hmm. The writers, they both had daughters. They wanted to... Uh, a strong female character that wasn't all sect uh, sexually, yeah, sexually appealing, yeah, or whatever. The, mm. Well, that's cool. Like you Harley Quinn, even when people draw Wonder Woman, she's always doing some pose with a breast out, ass yeah. out. So, and Dick, Detective Vin, don't do none of that. <laughs> except, for that except for this one shower scene, which was... It was pretty. Yeah, but outside of that. I mean, but the shower scene also, she didn't... Yeah, she it wasn't provocative. Yeah, yeah, she was just, was she was just taking a shower. Very well done. I Man. had to read it a couple times to know it was a female, because it didn't... <laughs> you couldn't yeah, you couldn't really tell when you first see it. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's the game. Yeah. Right. But yeah, this is good. Go get this, man. Go to your comic book conventions. Oh, yeah. Go buy it. First of all, you should go to comic book conventions anyway. If you want stories that are not just in like Marvel or DC image or IDW or stuff like that, like you want people who are not confined in the space, go to conventions, man. They got good books, man. Good books. If you need to know, but their book's about, you can always check us out. We do interviews with everybody. Yes, yeah. we do. There's a lot of variety for you at most conventions when you go to, but these fellas, like many other people, are also on Facebook. You can find them on Facebook as Astro Punk Mars. Uh, their book is pretty darn good. The artwork, the, mm -hmm. it fitted the story, how the story went and everything. I felt like it wasn't realistic. You know how... Most or you get you get the artists who like to make their images and their characters and everybody as real as possible. It wasn't all the way cartoonish either. It found a little bit of the a medium, a medium yeah. in the middle and everything where it was like we're serious, but we want to be a comic book, and we we don't exactly need to be like everybody else at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the art was good. It was lots of color. It was bright. You know how you love color. And mm -hmm. you need color in your life. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I do understand. That should be your motto. I, I, you need I, color in your life. You do. <laughs> One time you said, my eyes would make to see color, so I want to see the color. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I'm, I'm not like, I'm, that's just so much out there. And I appreciate that it is bright and everything, and they use lots of color. And it it's was, bright, but still shadowy at the same time. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say there was some contrast in there and everything that was cool, especially when the villain steps in. Anytime the villain 
steps into a page or is Out on the, the storyboard. Yeah. 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 Right. It's crazy. Like, it how was, do you do that? It was some good shadows. <laughs> it don't make sense. Was, they <laughs> wanted the villain to be villainous, so they gave him shadows, and it was, and they showed it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like. So just because it's like the first issue, it ends on the cliffhanger. I'm not gonna give you the yeah. cliffhanger. Yeah, right? So it's not like the whole story. It's not like a one shot with the whole. This is the whole story. This, this is more to read. It's more to read. Mm -hmm. There's just ain't released yet, but they will. Mm -hmm. And when they do, I'm buying it. Yeah. Great. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty I'll much. say I like how adult it is or how mature it is. I mean, the frame from saying yeah. adult. It's very mature. Um, you say adult. I hate it. Cause I hate adult teen. <laughs> I hate adult. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be old. We all hate that. <laughs> But very mature, um, onto the colors, loved it, loved it, loved it. The mm -hmm. artwork is beautiful. Um, I do want to see more of it. I think the female lead could have been a little stronger, just a little bit. I mean, she's badass. You can tell she's badass. She's not somebody you want to mess with. But at the same time, she could have been more prominent in what she was doing. She refrained from fighting as much as I would have liked her to. I would have liked to see her kick a little more ass. So I can see that. hopefully that comes up in the Kind of like Jessica Jones. Like, you yeah, know, she could have gone to really fight. But yeah. Jessica don't really want to fight. Right. Especially, after, especially after she had a daughter. Right. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so. She gave up on all that and everything. Uh, any comments from you, Al, about the book? Uh, what you think? I like the story seemed like it's when, it's when it really does start. When you find out exactly what's going on, I think it's going to be a good story. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could tell they put a lot of cliffhangers in it to make you want to come back and see the next, you know, watch I need to see the next one. Yeah, to find <laughs> out what's going on, you need to find out, no spoilers, find out who the villain is, number one. Mm -hmm. Who, uh, why they did what they did, mm -hmm. and just to find out what's going on. All the motives. We need motives, yeah. people. Uh, they're independent writers. You guys just keep us coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, well, the big time ones don't do that anymore. Marvel yeah. one of them. They, it's not big time. Yeah, they don't yeah. do it at all. They, they, they have enough capital where they don't have to do that. It's just why we like independent. You know? Yeah, they, they give you one shots and everything. Like you, know, you, know what it, you know what it is? Independents have forgotten their roots. I think yeah. it's that and worrying about detail. Like when you're independent, you have more time to worry about the yeah. details. Right. Right. You ain't got to have one. Uh, I need this in three weeks. Next up, exactly. next one right now. Exactly. You can't mm. rush artwork. That's just how I feel. Mm -hmm. and that's coming from an artist. You just can't rush it. You just can't. True. Mm. Yeah. True words have never been spoken. So you sure. I know some true words. So that that, that is <laughs> oh that is our review of uh, Astro Punk. We uh, if you see them at a con or anything like that, we ask you at least you uh, go talk to the writers, have have a chit chat with them. They're some cool guys. We talked to them. We had a good conversation. Uh, pick Especially up the book. Food. Pick up. Yeah. I was like, pick, up, pick up. Pick up the book. Pick up the book. Take a glance at it. Uh, we recommend it. And uh, you can uh, find uh, our review with them in the comment in the description. And uh, if you have any comments, leave comments in the comment section. As always, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you love what you see, hit the subscribe button and tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Go to your local comic book store, buy comic books, help support the comic book industry, and help support independent artists and independent writers like these when you see them at comic book conventions. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace out.